using a blade, cut approximately 20 gram of fresh leaves. We are using charcoal manis to demonstrate the cutting process. The cut leaves are collected into a beaker as shown and labeled. Transfer the fresh leaf from the beaker into the mortar. Using the vessel, green the leaves. Add 5 ml of acetone gradually into your green leaves. Now, leave them for 10 minutes. Green again and add another 5 ml of acetone. Using a spatula, transfer the green leaf onto the muslin cloth. Using muslin cloth, filter the extraction. To ensure more extraction are out, you can use your hand to press on the muslin cloth. Transfer some of the chlorophyll extract from the baker into the petri dish. Using the tip, of the dissecting pin place a drop of the chlorophyll extract onto the chromatography paper using hair dryer let the drop dry completely Repeat the process more than 15 times to build up a small area of concentrated pigment. Make sure to place the drops on the same spot every time. Before beginning the experiment, make sure to level using pencil 1cm from top on the chromatography paper. Transfer 5 ml of solvent into the boiling tube.
suspend the strip straight into the boiling tube that contains the 5 ml solvent. The bottom of the paper should be dipped into the solvent, but make sure that the pigment spot is not immersed in the solvent. Place the chromatography paper strips vertically in the tube rack. Let the solvent rise until it, its run reaches 1 cm from the top of the strip. Once the solvent run reaches 1 cm from the top of the strip, remove the chromatography paper strip from the boiling tube. Mark the solvent front with pencil. Mark the pigmented area. Each color on the chromatography paper is to represent different chlorophyll pigment. Yellow green represent chlorophyll B. Blue green chlorophyll A. Yellow centophyll. Gray phaeophytin and orange for carotene. Next, calculate the RF value for each pigment using the following formula. RF is equal to distance moved by the pigment from the origin over distance moved by the solvent from the origin. To demonstrate the RF value calculation, we are going to use chlorophyll B as an example. First, measure the distance moved by the pigment from the origin. Label on the paper. Next, measure the distance moved by the solvent from the origin. Record your results in the table 11.1. So, let observe RF value for chlorophyll B is equal to 3 cm over 9.5 cm, which is equal to 0 0.316. Repeat the calculation for the rest of the photosynthetic pigments.